What did I? Whoa! What the heck is this? Good evening. <sighs> Are you surprised? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? It's, who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Huh? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? What'd I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. And besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well, if there's nothing else, I'm feeling rather tired. was faster than I expected. Mm. Quite a show, I must admit. They've been rather busy these last few months, haven't they? And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Their fighting style is most fascinating. Not to mention they've made several forays into the tower. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? How about we go ask our buddy? Gonna be seeing him real soon. Ah, yes. An excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. After all, we don't have much time. Noticed once again that a new ally has been added to the ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. How terribly lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <sighs> It is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Hold up a sec. What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know, you're really starting to piss me off, nosy little shit. Yeah, well they're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you, I'm done with them. I 
didn't know there was a place like this so close by. Target should be around here somewhere. <laughs> well done. Who are they? The Sia couldn't sense them at all until now. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. My name is Takaya. This is Jin. We are known to some as Strega. Now then, we've been keeping an eye on your activities for some time. From what we hear, you've undertaken a righteous battle to save the world. Unfortunately, we've come here tonight to put an end to that. What did you say? You've gained many new allies in such a short time. No doubt because this land crawls with sin. Ah, Tartarus is towering as beautifully as always. You know... Wait, why the hell would you want to stop us? <laughs> it ain't rocket science. If shadows in the dark hour disappear, we could lose our power. And that's not something we can abide by. Get it? Power? Are you saying you're Persona users too? I implore you to think more carefully. Do you really want to lose your abilities? Not just anyone can wield the power of a Persona. The Dark Hour is a frontier that is ours alone to explore. And the same goes for the Tower of Demise. That's your reason for stopping us? Then you're the ones who need to think. Who knows what might happen if we don't do something? A catastrophe brought on by the shadows. What difference does it make, really? Disasters will always exist. And humans will always destroy each other, regardless of what the shadows do. Either way, no one can predict what misfortunes will befall who. But more importantly, it's time you accepted the truth. Surely you will acknowledge the sense of fulfillment the Dark Hour has given you. Yeah, you think I like this? Is it not so? How about the rest of you? Do you also wish to return to your pathetic? Pathetic ordinary lives. Huh? I don't enjoy this at all. Whatever. You all got your own selfish reasons for fighting. That so called justice of yours <laughs> ain't nothing but an excuse. There's nothing righteous about any of you. You're all just hypocrites. Like hell, you chumps are gonna stop us. What did you say? <laughs> Have fun in there. Damn it! They locked us in. Oh my. And what have we here? So much power, so much chaos. I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator. And on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? So long as you aren't against me, I will allow it. I don't know what our foe is capable of, but I trust you can protect yourself. What a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? So that's your strategy. This too is fate. I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. Here 
good target. That was quite the spectacle. But it's time to end this. This too is fate. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. Come! Persona! How about this? The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying. What? Persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? Smart. Discretion is the better part of valor. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you alright? Did you already defeat the Shadow? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> A non-human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? We don't serve any particular grand purpose. Had you simply stayed your hands, we could have avoided a needless confrontation. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet... You insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? Is that truly how you feel? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet... There is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. 
We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. <laughs> your dog doesn't seem to like your answer. However, self-reflection is a good habit. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours... Yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control, especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... one who can wield multiple personas. Ah, am I feeling... attachment for someone? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Gaia? 
Such a thought is beneath me. This is the first time we've met during the day. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? It must be difficult looking after her. After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or, could it be you've already killed her? So you're keeping her alive, then I take it you've had to use the suppressants, as I'd expect from Kirijo's resourcefulness. And you now have someone with first-hand experience among your number as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet... You hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. <sighs> now, I ask you, don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such apathy, such insolence. You trample upon everything we stand for, and worst of all, your rejection of might. Hmm. You tread upon your gifts like dirt, and in doing so, reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Hmm. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other. And yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. Do it. I won't stop you. You're right. I just wanted to forget. That's why I left everyone behind. And tried to use the drugs to suppress my power. But nothing I did could erase the memory. No matter what I do. I always end up back here. <laughs> it's my fault. This is what I deserve, but I gotta give you a warning. A warning? You take my life, and you're going to end up just like me. You better be prepared for that. What? Are you begging for your life? Even if all you have now is hatred. One day you'll regret it. Shut up! That's bullshit! I must say, I agree. <sighs> These are not his sins to bear. That is the nature of revenge. Is it not permissible to kill those who are themselves killers? That's right. What do you want? 
Losing one of our own has posed a slight challenge for us, but we cannot simply turn a blind eye to all the trouble you've caused. You bastard. Fear not. This life is but a stepping stone. I shall deliver unto you both salvation. What'd you say? My. Protecting your would-be murderer? Oh, but that's right. Whether or not to this boy's revenge, you are fated to die regardless. What does he mean? You've been taking those suppressants for some time now. You don't have much longer. That's bullshit! Listen to your body. The signs have already begun. What are you talking about? You're just going to die? No matter what? Even if I don't do anything? That's not fair! This is all I've been living for! What was even the point then? The cause of death is hardly of importance. Besides, the breath of life is faint in you as well, child. You were planning to join him once the deed was done, were you not? Mara, what? This may be a bit ill-timed, but no matter. It matters not whose life I take first. You're both destined to perish anyway. Shut the fuck up! No! Now then, with what life you have left, answer me this. There is a navigator in your rank similar to Chidori, is there not? You've been killing the shadows we wish to protect with startling efficiency before we can even arrive. Tell me, which one of you is it? If you don't expedite your answer, then this will hurt you more than it hurts me. <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue, or are you ready to talk? <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. It doesn't matter now. I'll never have my revenge. I don't have any reason to live. What's the point in fighting anymore? I see. So, you accept salvation. What a beautiful end to your life. Very well. You shall go first. Rest peacefully. Mom. Just what was that for? What reason could you possibly have to risk your life for this child? <gasps> Shinji! <laughs> your companions? How very unfortunate. The fun had just begun. There's something worth looking at from here.
The moon is almost perfect. It'll be full in just three more days. So it would seem. I have no intention of relinquishing my abilities and living an empty life. To continue existing as we are, or to die powerless. I hear you. I know how important this is to you, Takaya. To us, we can't afford to lose it. And besides... Jin? If the Dark Hour disappears, we might forget everything that happened. Won't we? I'd forget you and Chidori. The things we did together, our time at the facility. All of it. To me, that's a fate worse than death. I couldn't care less if that damned facility got erased from my memory. Having this uncontrollable power forced on us, watching everybody we knew disappear one by one. There's just one thing I refuse to forget. Back when I was trapped in that living hell, you spoke to me. Thanks to what you said, I learned how to keep myself going. Your words gave my life meaning to Gaia. If I forget that, I won't have any reason to be alive. <sighs> it may not be much of a purpose compared to yours. It was just a couple of words, I know. But they meant the whole world to me. So I can't lose this fight either. Is that so? Hmm. Well then. Why don't we find out together? Whom will fate elect to choose? Them or us? <laughs> right. I trust you know what is at stake today. You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disaster they bring. Yet, countless lives are lost each day, even without their intervention. <laughs> the ability to use a persona is not in itself evil. You have no reason to forsake it. So, why not just admit it? You do not truly wish to eliminate the Dark Hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves in the pursuit of self-satisfaction. I don't think you truly believe that. You are foolish children indeed. Erasing the Dark Hour is the same as erasing yourselves. How can you not even conceive such a thought? Your imprudence is truly beyond comprehension. As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. It's time, Jin. What a bunch of fools. I can't stand to look at you. Fate shall decide which of us will remain. Come then. He's more serious, but I know you can huh? do this! For some Just don't know when to quit. Now then, it is time for your judgment. Out of my way. Death. Thank you. 
of a warm-up. It's time for the real deal. Here. Go for it. This will be your end. others with the same power, and what difficult opponents they are. Look at how you squander your potential. It's beyond comprehension. Persona!
<sighs> we still lost. So, us experiments can't even stand up to a naturally awakened persona. Experiments? For us, it's not so simple. Our powers weren't awakened naturally. We can't even use them without straining our bodies. Don't you remember what your dead pal was carrying? So you were giving Shinji the suppressants. You guys don't have the slightest clue what'll happen if the Dark Hour disappears. Do you? It won't matter for normal people, since they don't remember anything anyway. But without the Dark Hour, even Persona users like us will... Hmm? Jin, that's enough. Now then, ordinarily we would withdraw here. But that is not an option tonight. This body, ephemeral though it may be, is worthless without my power. Therefore, I've only one choice. I shall prove my existence here and now! What are you doing? Don't be so reckless! Jin? Sorry, but... I haven't forgotten what you said to me. You win. Go on and defeat the Shadow. Maybe then you'll see what you've been fighting for this whole time. Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're gonna jump! I'd rather die than surrender to you! Take a good look. This is how we live. They jumped. What the hell? Don't let it get to you. They chose how they wanted to go out. We're not done here yet. Our real target is waiting. Let's just focus on that for now. drawing. Why is this? What? Huh? It's been a while. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. his fault ever since he started getting too close i've suffered every single day and now i'm afraid to die hey jinori hurry it up Medea, let's go hurt i can't breathe i'm scared you don't touch me Chidori please tell me why you're doing this what I fear most isn't death what I fear most is attachment when I do I become horrified by the thought of loss my possessions my life everything that's why we only ever live for the moment but you, Junpei, you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Shidori. That sense. What is it? 
It's the others from Straka! How did they... Bastards! You just don't know when to give up! I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was... chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! Protect Chidori with my life! Chilpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Jupe, hmm. look out! So glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh huh? I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I, I realized what I wanted. And. What's that? I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... um... Uh, I... I want to be with you, too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? I... What? Don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait, if she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh! <laughs> Chidori! <sighs> so it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <sighs> this might be all I ever needed. 
just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! I love you. Too big. Thank you. <laughs> Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Meaningless? Hmm. a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Zakaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on it. Hmm. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. After all, you. Where's your partner? Takaya went on ahead of me. He's destined for far greater heights than someone like myself. So, you guys are here. That means you're serious about fighting Nyx. How do you know about Nyx? I just pieced together what information Ikutsuki left behind. <laughs> of course. A good chunk of it was just delusional nonsense. He was a real nut job. You knew Ikutsuki? Oh yeah, so he was your boss, huh? It was a big surprise finding that out. And that said, we only really knew his name. He was just one of the researchers who created us. He created you? Who exactly are you? What's the point of telling you? It'll all be over soon. We don't have time for this. Step aside. Sorry, no can do. There's no way Nyx could be stopped by the likes of you. But I ain't about to let you get in Takaya's way. Do you even understand what you're saying? If we don't stop Nyx, all life will be destroyed. That's the point! He ain't gonna live much longer either way. So we gotta see it through to the end. This is Takaya's wish. So I'm not backing down. What? Uh, all right. I think that's enough talking. Time to get serious. Let's do this. However it turns out, this is the end. I'm going all out. What to do? Sit 
situation. I'm nowhere near Takaya's level, but I've improved since we last fought. You can't hide your weaknesses from me. Come on, let's see your weakness. who came prepared. Watch this. Now you'll see what I can really do. Here's a special treat just for you. Operation unsustainable. Do this. Isis! 
defeating me. I'll die before I let you pass. Performance enhancing drops? At that concentration, the side effects must be... Damn. He just doesn't give up. so devoted to him. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. Takaya showed me the light when I was in the darkness. I forget how many years it's been. It was before I knew about the Dark Hour, or having the potential, or any of that. The Kirijo group rounded up orphans from all over, and tried to awaken personas in them. Their goal was to investigate Tartarus. What? But, when a persona doesn't emerge naturally, it's difficult to control. So, kids had to take these experimental drugs so their personas wouldn't kill them. Only three kids out of the original hundred survived. And after six months, the experiment was cancelled. No. So, those three survivors were... So you've all suffered at the hands of the Kirijo group as well? Kaya saves me from it all. I'll never forget what he told me. Don't be bound by the past. And don't look to the future. Simply live in the moment. Honestly, I don't even give a damn about Kirijo anymore. But I'm gonna fulfill Takaya's wish. No matter what. But you... We overstayed our welcome. We're running out of time. Everyone, head up! But... What about him? I don't need your pity, dumbass. defeat Nyx, then this was all for nothing. Got it. Damn it! <sighs> Let's go, I guess. <laughs> Look. 
get these ugly clowns crawling up in droves. <laughs> You're not eating me. I ain't going out on your terms. I believe in you, Takaya. <laughs> Fulfill our wish. I'll hold on to the freedom you gave me to the very end. Hey, you hear that? Don't tell me. Don't look back. Let's go. So, just ahead of here is the top. <laughs> I take it you've defeated Jin. You are quite a troublesome bunch. Even in these final moments, you still insist on fighting. Why struggle against the inevitable end? Sorry to disappoint. Nothing's gonna end. Not if we have anything to say about it! Cease your petty resistance. Why not celebrate this wonderful moment instead? I'm not opposed to seeing this world off in your company. Will you shut up already? We are not letting that happen. Got it? My life was stolen from me. And in its place, I was given a power I never asked for. And so, I learned that the future is only a delusion. Only by striving to live every moment to its fullest can the soul truly be satisfied. That is why we welcome this glorious revelation to shine a light upon this darkened world. I've had enough of your shit! I'm not dying, so you can have a freaking nightlight! This is not merely my own desire. Many of my disciples have gathered to rejoice in her arrival. That's just because Nyx is causing all these strange incidents. I'm afraid you have that backwards. Consider for a moment. Who is responsible for reviving Nyx? Can a single person boast of this great accomplishment? You all worked tirelessly to prevent it, and yet instead, you unwittingly aided in her coming. So you see, this is not just my will. It is the will of all people. People cannot face death without first finding meaning in life. But the world has realized that any meaning in it was lost long ago. Nyx has come. Because humanity has cried out for her salvation! No way! I don't believe you! Who would ever wish for Nyx to come? No. There is some truth in what he says. I guess. Wandering without purpose. Living an empty life. Dying an empty death. Passing your days without suffering. I don't know if this can be called right or wrong. But personally, I wouldn't want to live that way. I want a purpose, and to have others I care about. That's why I came all this way. To me, this is what it means to live. We're not alone. On our own, we may be helpless. But together, we can achieve the impossible. This is what you lack. That's why you see the fall as salvation. In choosing solitude over bonds with others, you limit your own power. So a Kirijo, responsible for robbing us of our future, would dare to speak of our limits? <laughs> How laughable! Then again, I should have known better. This is just the kind of bigotry I would expect from the ones who labeled me a failure. However, fate has chosen us. Very well, then. If you insist on proving your superiority, I shall do the same. Either way, your efforts are in vain. Nyx's arrival is but moments away.
You needn't hurry. The moment we await is predestined. It makes no difference whether it comes sooner or later. Please be careful. What to do? Sense an even greater power than before. Artist. Pity those who cannot see the blessing it truly is. We are mere mortals. We cannot change our fate. Out of my way! it that you see before you now. A promise? That's truly ridiculous. How absurd! I can't bear to watch you all! The moment we await is upon us. to be at odds. How can you summon such power even in the face of death? Incorrigible, as always. Out of my way! What to do? It's my 
The moment we await is upon us. I'll go with you. Not that. Gina, hear me. Please help them. What to do? me this again is my resolve still not strong enough if so i'll throw away my trivial pride my entire being i will bring you to your knees Must be a stranger to death if you think it is something to fear. What do you mean? You fear it because you do not understand it. I have lived long enough. I have nothing more to say. We have no interest in taking the life of someone who can't even move. You will live to see if what you wished for comes true or not. Yeah, stay right there and think about what you've done. What a truly baffling group you are. We're finally here. Up ahead is the summit of Tartarus, the promised place Ryoji mentioned. Let's regroup for the final battle. Shut up! 
you bastard! Death will be patient no longer. Can't you see that? What can you hope to accomplish now? I wish you were here to see it all, Hank. Jin. I will never give up! Never! Why? What good will it do to rise up? Just give in. Hell no! I'm not backing down! We made our choice! We staked our lives on it! Here! 